I just can't do it. I just can't do it. Can't do it. Just can't do it. I tried. I can't. So I'm here. I'm here at the Nike outlet. Let's make it. Let's go, Yon. Got the on feet, man. We got the Justin Timberlake. What's poppin' on the boyfriend? Nate Jack in the building. Yo, hold up, hold up, hold up, man. I had to re record this. Ow. What's poppin' homies, it's your boy Frank Nitty back in the building. Right now, we at the Nike outlet on Violent. I haven't been here since May 13th to be exact. So well over two weeks, man. Probably going on three weeks. So we about to go inside and see what's popping. The snow line. There's a lot of tourists out here though, man. You know, kids are out of school, so let's make it. All right, so we're in the Air Max slash Air Force One aisle. I have never seen these joints ever. They're going for 120. I wonder if this is the recycle. Yeah, move to zero. This is what you'll see in the refurbished store in Tampa. But anyways, they got these joints here. Got care for them. Air Force 107 LX. 120 is the price. Multiple sizes. They actually got two rows of these. And they also got the Vapor Max. All right, child, man. Sorry for the short intermission. I had to stop and purchase something, which is an Adidas. I know it's in a whole different store, but um, I'm about to head back to Nike. We're gonna wrap the vlog up there. Then take it to the crib. This video's not too long. I'll probably uh, do unboxing when I get to the crib. All right, I'll see y'all there. Peace. See, we're back, we're back. Um, it really wasn't busy earlier, so I don't think I anticipate a wait to get back in the building, so it should be a seamless entry. So off rip, I saw some shoes in the back, or rather behind the counter, and this, these are it, the familiars, which we did saw in celebration, man. So if y'all want them, pull up. I think they're going for like 125. That's how much I paid for mine. I was talking about these shoes earlier. They're not the typical 2090s. They're the actual EOIs. 2090 EOIs. I'm not sure what that. There's multiple sizes of these. Actually, there's two rolls of these, or two shelves. There's a second shelf for 109. Multiple sizes in those. Okay, the white pair went down significantly. This would be like $90 for these. They're going for 70 now. Multiple sizes in those. That's a good price. 70 beans for 2090s. It's not bad. I'm trying to figure out what make these shoes so different, man. These EOIs. Oh, they got the box like the EVOs there. Vapor Max. So that's unique, but I don't know the difference between... Oh, I see. They got the Air Max 90 symbol on the lateral side. That's different. Cause look at the other pair. Like these 2090s, they got the air on the lateral side. And this colorway got the air on the lateral side. But these joints got the Air Max 90 logo on the lateral side. So I see the difference. And also this pair, I just found these here randomly. See, the air. Okay, that's a quick distinction. Um, okay, now this is a colorway I have never seen. White, green, abyss black. One of the price, multiple size of nose. And where are these Zephyrs? Air Max Zephyrs, I think that's what they call. I think that's how that's pronounced. Mommy of the water, looks like a spell, like Zephyr Hill, but it's Zephyr. And there's multiple sizes in these as well, but damn, look at the retail price, man, 190. That's crazy. Now, it's the second time I've seen these in the building, price 130. I'm not mad at those shoes, I actually like them. And then you got the Fly Ease. I like the concept. I like the 90s. I like the purpose, man. $75 is not a bad price. That's good. Actually, they got two rolls of those and they also got a Dorgan Dust color. They got that black, yellow, and green. Money beans for those as well. Oh, wow. The Air Money's still in the building, bro. The Michael Johnson's. <laughs> Yo, I have seen these in the outlet like two years ago, man. They reincarnated them back on the shelf, so. 119 is the price. This aisle is very slim, y'all. The only thing I found in here is the Blazer 77 suede. That's dope. The colorway is dope. I'm not a fan of this shoe. It's not very functional for me because that uh, outsole is very square. You know what I mean? It's all right though. I like the colorway. I'm not a fan of blazers because I can't rock them. They also got the leather joint right here. Leather feels pretty good. 110 is the price. The aisle over, they got them in black. 60 beans for those. Leather's not bad. And we've seen these Christmas joints before in other outlets. 70 beans. We got the lows. The N7 joints, undefeated, okay. We got the undefeated uh, Daybreak. Got into this. <laughs> What's on the back of it? Undefeated. 
Uh, one six is the price. Retail game. All right, moving along, man. One of my favorite colorways, man. The black and yellow 109 BB4s. Of course, the price is a little bit better. The only other colorway I like a little bit better than this was the Raptors colorway. And I actually had the Raptors logo right here. But these are dope. The colorway, that is. I'm not too fond of the shoe. It will get a pass just because of the colorway. Multiple sizes and those. They actually got two rows of them, too. There you go. Cosmic Utility. Okay. You know, for retail gang, 150 is the price. Some other basketball shoes, Greek free twos. Moving along, okay. We got the KB throw, I'm about to say throwback <laughs> promo. Team basketball purple joints. Look like they're going for retail gang. Oh no, they're going for 109. Okay, not a bad price for the KD 13s. We also got the cool gray joints over here for the same price, 109. It's not the cheapest I've seen them, but this is the only spot I see multiple pairs in. The other spot I see them better pricing did not have my size, man. But you can get them for 109 though. KD was the Trey Fives. What we got? Trey Fives? No, no, the Trey Five Eights, bro. 70 beans. They also got them in uh, black and red for 70 beans as well. PG fours and that glitch pattern, the orange glitch pattern for 60 beans. Last time I was here, they didn't have my size, and it still don't got my size. I purchased a pair of KDs recently, so I'm all Gucci. I have more PGs. These are the promos, the team basketball, team basketball, keeping it moving. All right, I was just talking to my homeboy today, man. We talking about the best basketball shoe or best outdoor basketball shoe that we have rocked in a long time. Ironically, I forgot the shoe to actually play ball, and I remember and it was a LeBron. And sure enough, his favorite basketball shoe was my favorite basketball shoe for outdoors. It was a LeBron 4s. That's crazy, right? Great minds think alike, man. When I start describing, he goes, man, I think I had those. Sure enough, pulled it up on his phone, sent me a picture. I'm like, yep, there it goes. That's it. So now I know it's a LeBron 4. I would love to own that, so I'm on the hunt for it. I purchased that shoe in 2011. It actually came out in 2010, but I found it in the aisle of 2011, man. Soldier 4s. If any of you guys got a DS pair and you want to let it go, I even pay retail for it, man. Hit me up, man. I know it's an old shoe. It may or may not be hitting over retail. I don't know. The Bayou Boys, Jordan 200 for $99. Don't have my size. I think it's a good price. I think it's a good shoe. I own the South Beach versions of the Jordan 200s. Also own the regular Air Max 200s. The Nike versions, very comfortable. These, I don't know too much about them. Other than my wife thought she won a pair and I'll be a stack that I actually have it. But <laughs> I was like, babe, I didn't even want those shoes. I think that's it, y'all. I think that's all. So I'm debating on copping this, bro. You already know I got the first gen. The second gen here is for 220. I tried to get the black one for 189 like two weeks ago. It was on sale, but I lucked out, man. So I'm thinking about copping these as a consolation prize. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pay $30 over retail or $30 over what the black ones is going for. That's part of doing business, man. Just a collectible, bro, just a collectible. And welcome back to the sneaker office, man. Appreciate you guys for watching all the way through. Salute to y'all, y'all the real MVPs. Let me give you guys a little bit of context to this video. Initially, the intro where I was sitting at the house where I was like, can't do it, can't do it, I just can't do it. I, I didn't give you guys much context to that. Essentially what it was is I didn't want to be in the crib. So I was downstairs contemplating, should I leave, should I leave, should I leave? And then I was like, yo, I'm gonna leave. And I was like, let me just play on my thoughts in that moment. So I did that little quick, short, 10 second intro of me like debating on going to the outlets. I was like, yo, I gotta be in somebody's building. I gotta see what prices are out there, what's in the building. And I'm glad I took the opportunity to go to a Nike outlet. And secondly, when I was in the store, the Nike outlet to be exact, that was the first building I pulled up in. Even though you guys saw me with Adidas bag in hand, it's because I was on the phone and I was not vlogging. Walk outside, continue on the phone, and by then, talk and talk. I ended up being over there. So I ended up going inside the building and found a few sweaters I like. This being the Adidas hoodie. I love this orange wash. It feels very comfortable. It's not a heavyweight sweater. It's good to go. So I had to pick this up. Then I saw a human race sweater by Pharrell Williams. So I had to pick that up as well. So that's why I was in the parking lot kind of changing because I want to see how it fit. I ended up buying the small and the human racers, that tan color, that wash colorway. I thought it run big, so I bought a small and I tried it on the parking lot. It was kinda, it wasn't too small, but I wanted a little bit bigger, so I took it back and got a medium. And Adidas was also kind enough to throw these in the bag. These are the Adidas face masks with Adidas logo. Anyways, left Adidas, sorry if I'm blinking. 
something's in my eye. Left Adidas, went back to the Nike outlet, and I started my vlog. But when I got in the building, I immediately saw those La Familias, the Familias. The joints that I picked up like maybe two weeks ago at the Celebration Nike outlet, the Air Jordan 1 mids, they had tons of pairs there, but it was behind the counter. And below that was the Dat BB's 2.0s, which I was curious, you know, because I own the one point. Well, let me let me better show you than tell you. We got the Nike recyclable bag. Inside this bag, we got the peep the label. These are size 12. And these are the Nike Adapt BB 2.0s. The second iterations, the second versions of the Adapt BBs. We already know this came from the Air Mags back in the days. You know, the Michael J. Fox or the Back to Future joints. This is a play on shoe you know the technology in here was something that nike been working on for several years and it came to fruition a couple years back with this pair this was the first version that you can actually play ball in now that i know they had previous pairs or iterations before this for the casual walking but it was like 700 dollars. this was the first shoe to market that was subpar affordable even though this was 350 from jump and to be fair i had this shoe for several years and this is the second time i took them out the box to a point they were not charged and i don't even know if it was charged yo i think they're charging earlier i couldn't tell man but now they've been sitting on here for about 30 minutes while i was editing this video so i think they're they're charging i can see the um led illuminating right there y'all see that i'm assuming it's the same thing for the other side as well you guys let me know <laughs> because I can't get behind this desk. But we should be good though. Not my favorite colorway of the two. I actually kind of um, popped this because it's a Constellation prize. They had the all black ones not too long ago, maybe two weeks ago. I remember because I was in route to Tampa and Nike had this exclusive sale drop and they had a Dat BB 2.0s in black. And it was going for 189 plus tax. I was just combing through the website to see what else I want so I could put in a cart so I could purchase that as well. I should have just purchased that and then went back and looked. But because I took my time, I ended up missing out. So I did find these for 219. So I spent $30 more in person than I would if I bought it online. But nevertheless, man, it is a unique shoe. You got a lot of working mechanism in here. You got a lithium battery. It's self-lacing. You can use your app, all that good stuff man i haven't played ball in these i was gonna do a video of me hooping in these but i never never did this was the first iteration so you can see how how the midfoot is bros one cohesive part right so you don't see no mechanics of any laces in this shoe but this shoe has an actual tongue it's made up of multiple components and parts to make this self-lacing shoe more realistic would i play ball in this one who knows who knows but anyways guys that's my pickup just want to show you guys what i cop it's probably the most expensive purchase that i purchased at a nike outlet if that makes sense the only thing i could think of were those travis scott fours i did purchase the travis scott fours from my nike outlet to y'all disbelief y'all probably doubted me man but the videos out there i made several videos on that showing the whole day how it panned out if i remember i will link it i'll put a card up so you guys can watch that video if you're interested i can probably do a throwback video on that as well because i purchased that shoe probably going on three years now whenever travis scott came out this was well after the release well after the release thank you guys for watching if you're new to this channel and you like what you just saw hit that like hit that subscribe hit that notification bell as well and everyone keep leaving those comments down below and your boy get back to you as soon as possible until then until we meet again you already know my slogan good to go it's a wrap peace